Hey everybody, Mark Spect the Comics and I'm back. This time I wanted to show you what I got this week for new comic book day and a nice little wall book, DC style, that I picked up as well. If you want to see what books I picked up, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. Like I said, I had some time today. Ended up going to the uh, LCS, picked up some, you know, a few books, and uh, ended up picking up a cool wall book. So, uh, without, you know, wasting any time, let's just get into the books. I do got a nice little beer here as well. Uh, I like to sometimes do some some cool beers and uh, comics. So this week, ended up getting from Beer on Earth, Zwickle Down Economics. It's from a brewery here in Providence. Really cool label. It's a light beer, it's a lager. Uh, not bad, but uh, that's that. So let's get to the pickups. First book from uh, Vault Comics. This is Blue Flame, issue number two. Ended up picking up number one. I enjoyed it, so I figured let's continue with it and see where it goes. And it's a nice cover. You don't get It's like an all yellow cover with the uh, main character there. So I was like, all right, this is pretty sweet. They had uh, both A and B covers there. I uh, ended up liking this one over the two. Second book, been reading this through and through, and that is Something is Killed in the Children. Issue number 17, and I wasn't aware of this until he told me, but this is the Glow in the Dark cover. And, you know, you can kind of feel the uh, texture there on the character that this will be uh, a Glow in the Dark cover. So that was pretty cool. Um, and it's, you know, it's a Virgin cover, so that's nice as well. And you can uh, feel it here on the T, too, that it's going to be, uh, that part's going to glow in the dark. So um, I had to pick that up. There is some... Uh, a uh, little creases there, which is unfortunate, but I think that could press out if I ever do decide to get it graded. But um, I had to pick that up just for the cover in itself. Um, and then the last book is MFKZ number one, or uh, as it's called. I, well, I can't say it, so I'm going to say it as closely as possible. Mother Funkers. <laughs> uh, if you look this up, you'll see what this is. Uh, this is based off of a movie that came out in 2017 on Netflix. It's pretty, uh, I guess, a little graphic comedy type of storyline. They had a bunch of covers there. And this is from uh, Behemoth, Behemoth Press, or Behemoth Publishing. Uh, these are very, very small publisher. But um, I saw that there. There was like maybe five or six copies there. I was like, well, what's this all about? And I was like, all right, I'll check it out. Um, brushed through some of the pages. It's all like black pages in there, black and white, I believe. So I'll have to read through it. But um, I picked this cover up because it almost reminded me of um, uh, Ghost Rider number one. So it almost had like that cover swipe to it as well. And I thought that was pretty wicked. This was... This is five ninety nine. I was like, "Wow, this is this is pretty pricey," but uh, it's a rather thick book, so I'm hoping it's a good read. And then uh, the last book, I was going through the back issue bins, and I saw this book. They had this in a six print, and I believe he was asking uh, thirty bucks for it. So I was going to pick that up, and it was a newsstand as well. Because I've always wanted this book, but um, I guess I just have passed upon it so many times for whatever reason. And then I brought it up to the register, and he was like, well, I have two first prints right here on the uh, wall, so do you want to check those out? I was like, yeah, all right, let me pick that up. And uh, just, you know, open it up, check it out, and so forth. I was like, you know, I asked him, is it all right if you, you know, if I could open it up and look at it? He kind of gave me like the, uh, you know... I was like, it's, you know, he was like, it's kind of an old book. I was like, old book? 
Oh, uh, like, you know, this book came out a year after I was born. I was like, what are you trying to say? I'm old? <laughs> it's not that old. But uh, it's uh, Batman, The Killing Joke, uh, number one, first printing. Um, he was asking, what was it, 80 bucks for it, I believe. And so he was like, well, you know, have, have you came here before? I was like, yeah, I, I used to come here all the time. I had a poll list and everything. I just, you know. When I started working up in Boston, I, I wasn't coming here as frequently because it wasn't, you know, wasn't in the way. So uh, it was like, all right, I'll, I'll give you, a, you know, I'll give you fifteen percent off the uh, off the whole, you know, off the total of the whole thing. So I was like, all right, I'll uh, I'll take it. So ended up getting this for a pretty good price, I think, and I you know, opened it up. It's in really nice condition. So uh, I've always wanted to have this book. Glad to finally have it. It's a nice, you know, just a great, great story. And I'm glad to have it now on the PC. I'm going to have to just send this off to grading eventually when I do to send out a pile of books for grading. So happy to have this. This was my uh, nice pickup for the week. Batman Killing Joke, first print. So that's it for this week for a new comic book day. I'm going to try to go on uh, uh, Steve's channel tonight and... Uh, review some of the uh, books for this comic book week and uh, if I have a chance you'll hopefully see me on there tonight so uh, that's it hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did comment down below what you thought hit that like button and until next time Mark's Book the Comics out